And the action comes thick and fast here at the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. Game two underway. Davies doing the honours in New South Wales emerging country. Right on the attack. Adam Santorossa, Alex Durante here with you. Reminder of what's to follow. Big game. New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. Dukes is caught with it. Try scorer yesterday. Watch for Blackwell chiming into the line. The six who's playing fullback. Already aiming up the First Nations gem. Some really solid defensive work for them throughout the tournament as Crane likes to get into first receiver. Fight their way to halfway. Just want to complete your opening set. B mistake three. Look for the work of Cook out of dummy half as they poke through the line here. Jukes. Strong carry again. Her second of the set. Doing the kicking. Was Dimek. A little too much on this one though. And out over the dead ball line. I think that the New South Wales Emerging Country will be really happy with that first set. I think it's it brought great energy, and I think it's going to be exciting to see what's to come with these two teams. So Davies, play it just shy of the 30-metre line. The real story of this carnival, the First Nations gems, Mailada. It's a quick play, the ball, getting a really good roll on in this opening set. I mentioned Todd Hunter's work from dummy half, and she... Real fleet of foot. Stills 15, almost 20 metres for her side. Casey, good work at the line. Great one-on-one -on -one hit, though. Gwen Swan it was. Madigan certainly knows her number after that hit. No need, no need for an effects, Mike. We can hear it up here. Yeah, and there's that replay again. So the Gems taking it to the line once more. Amone thought she may offload, but Dimek strong over the top. They go down the short side. Kick coming here through Hinch. Difficult to contend with. Blackwell mops it up, though. Met solidly, and she's going to try and stay out of the in goal, but they force a drop out anyway. So physical start by the First Nations Gems. Yeah, really solid start from our First Nations gems. I think they'll be really happy with that performance um, on the back end, and we'll see that replay again. Great chase and really great energy, and um, just forcing that error and just too many girls in there, keeping her in the in goal. You yeah, see four of them. Straight back on the attack. It's Casey leading the charge and swatting them away. McDonald it was who was brushed off. By the gems, number 13. Bull sees something she likes down the short side. Just can't get past the marker defence, though. Difficult one for Todd Hunter to handle, and she's monstered over the top. Knock on. Massey it was. And I'll come back to feed that scrum. Yeah, that was a tough pass, tough ball to get. So good on her for getting it, but just a, a great tackle from, from New South Wales to force the error. Good to see some strong support down here at UWA Park today, as it has been across the four days of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. And do need to thank our sponsors in Harvey Norman and Major Events Gold Coast for their support. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you're tuning in from us. Emerging country get expansive through Demek. Slow to play it as a Monate just entangled. I think the boots have come together, the laces perhaps, as they yeah, sort themselves out. It's been a ferocious first four minutes. It's a knock on here. So both sides just not completing sets to start this one. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tug of war at the moment. It, it's hard to say. I think that both of these teams have quite evenly matched. Um, unlike the last team, we obviously saw New Zealand um, with quite a resounding start. But with these women, it's a little bit slower to start and a few more forced errors as well. So a full set. And a start 30 out from emerging countries line. This is second in pool A versus second in pool B. Coolwell. 
eventually brought down just shy of the 20. Again, they're a little slow in getting off emerging country. Madigan on the angled run. Bull again, sees something down the short side. Coolwell showing she's a finisher. Two tries this tournament, will play it. Two out from the line. Bull might go on her own from dummy half, throws a big dummy. Is that a hit of an obstruction? Eventually they wrestle her down. Lined out to the right, Davies. Casey throws the dummy, good footwork. Last here, do they send it high or do they keep it through the hands? Todd Hunter just turns it inboard. And they're going to die with it here on the last. So it'll be a changeover. A little lack of communication hurting the gems there. So emerging country have to work it out of their own end. I'll be pleased with the defence here, the Gems. They try to force an error. Emerging country just want to get to their kick. Haven't managed it the last two times. Joining us, our second of three live games back to back on our final day of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. Big game to follow at 11 between New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. Good work close to the line. The Swan does well to stay in the sideline. Holly Massey doing the kicking. Well contended with by Tillett. Yeah, some really great football in the Tillett sisters. Obviously, Tallulah, her sister, just signed with the Cowboys. So, big shout out to all the Tillett mob watching from Cairns, Mackay, and the Torres Strait. Good to see Olivia Ingram make her way out onto the field in jersey number 10. On to watch all tournament, part of the Raiders NRLW system. She sustained a cut to the head yesterday and had to leave the field. Here she is, about to charge onto the ball for the Gems and get a penalty, a bit of high contact. So, another full set for the First Nations Gems. We also saw Armat come on to Nisha as well. So we've got a few fresh faces in this forward pack. And what a perfect time to do it as well. 25 metres out from their line. Yeah, Ingram not wasting any time. Went back-to-back -back hit ups as soon as she got on the field. Tiana West has them 10 out from the line. A good period here for the First Nations Gems. But wanted it to the left. They chose to go the other direction. Good hand shown at the line. Here's a Mono. She's fighting. Two out. Lined out to the right. They put it through the hands. They should score. Was kept, though, by Hinch. I'll turn it inboard. Davies might crush <laughs> over. They like it. They'll point to the spots. And the First Nations gems, they have the opening try. And that wave of pressure finally gets a result. That was lovely for all of our First Nations mob watching from home. We'll see the replay in just a moment with a very resounding start. Four points on the scoreboard for our First Nations gems. Well, we saw Tamika Ball screaming at her <laughs> side saying, get it left. They went right. And... I think it was the right way though, Adam, <laughs> as we see this replay here. The emerging country, country trying to scramble and it's Bailey Davies who crashes over despite the best efforts of New South Wales emerging country. And Davies is probably one of the smaller players on the Gems team so the fact that she just put her body on the line and just absolutely went through the pack of New South Wales is just too deadly. Probably a player we'll be expecting to see in the Indigenous All-Stars in the next few years to come. Yeah, and a good point you make because we talk about a team of the tournament. There's also scouts watching around NRLW, but there's opportunities. Indigenous All-Stars you mentioned, under-19 state of origin coming up as well. So plenty of eyes on this and plenty of pathways going forward in terms of future ref honours. 
it looks like she'll go to convert her own try. So it'll be six points if she gets this one. Not too far from the posts. Will be a nice little six-point lead if she gets it. Beautiful conditions here on the Gold Coast. You mentioned how far some teams have had to travel. They might want to stick around given the weather they're experiencing. Yeah, they certainly turned it on, and there she goes straight through the post. That'll be Bailey Davies with the first try and first points of this game here with a 6-0 lead. First Nations Gems just come out a bit too strong at the moment, but we'll see what New South Wales country have to bring to the table in the next 10 minutes. This first period of this first half is race by, of course, play two by 20 minute halves across the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. So the final 10 before half time and New South Wales emerging country will just want to get some of the footy close to the line. It's been all defense and they've been hurt by errors. Given we play just 20 minute halves, once you get behind on the scoreboard, field position so hard to come by. Solid steamroll there from Tanisha Armat. And haven't they added some punch? The gems off the interchange bench. We saw Ingram and Armat come on just moments ago. Yeah, they've certainly made an impact and made their presence known to the New South Wales country. They've already been in probably about six runs between them. Good offload there from Madigan. Made some good metres on the angled run as well. Todd Hunter. I played on a short side. Davies, a try scorer, helping out her forwards. I reckon she could be a forward herself. She is absolutely solid, Bailey Davies. Second run of the set here from Kate Madigan. She's lost it though. She tried to promote it. I'll say there's a hand in there. So, lost ball and now ill discipline just hurting emerging country. Does he say that? I think. She that might be Bailey Davies down as we had a, a med just run on to check on her. We'll see a replay though. She's had an offload here, I believe. Yeah, no. Madigan, I'll say it's stripped in there. There you see Davies. There we go. Maybe a bit of a head clash. Yeah, a bit of a crunch there for Davies. We'll have her checked out as the trainer's having a little chat with First Nations Gems. Be interested to, to get these coaches and, and support staff mic'd up. I'd love to know the chat. I think it'd be all positive for now. I think First Nations Gems are doing a great job. Maybe just to slow it down a little bit. And, uh, make some changes to emerging country. You see Linda Vakariwa coming on and checking out his Alufa Fatu. Davies gives the thumbs up. She's going to continue. She's solid, Davies. We've seen it before. I think she might be hungry for some more points. Six isn't enough for Davies. That's another six tackles for the First Nations gems. It's Ingram. Another strong charge. Making some good metres. Difficult period here for emerging country as Armat still fights. Plays it just shy of the 20-metre line. Looking for their second try here. So they put it through the hand. Solid oh. contact. Tooth putting the body on the line. Oh. Oh. So they find some space down. A short side. Thought they were going to go out there. The gems. See the touchy. Perfectly placed. Points may still follow. They'll go to the left-hand side this time. Jukes with some strong contact. Just halts the gems' progression. They can't afford to allow more points. Six minutes remaining before half time. Put it through the hands, Burns. They'll go in the cool world direction. It's the last. Again, they fail to get to their kick. Well, just joining us, our second game of three games live back to back. Day four, the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. So second in pool A versus second in pool B. New South Wales emerging country and the First Nations gems in our pool winners of pool A and pool B. will clash at 11 a.m. immediately following this one. New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. Not officially playing for a championship, but certainly bragging rights and some interstate passion as well on show. 
With five minutes before half time. Merging country just need to complete a set. A little close to the try line. Last tackle here. Cook sees something out of dummy half. They know it's the last. Crane will do the kicking. The test. Hangs it high for Douglas, and she does well under it. Well received from Douglas. I think she's looking probably directly in the sun, so great catch there. As it looks like First Nations Gems as well, putting some new players in the pack. It looks like they're warming up. Martin Savage on the sideline to take over. That has been a criticism of the First Nations Gems across this tournament. It's they just haven't been able to put teams away. Been in some tight games. They lost to New South Wales Country under 19s after the siren too. A game that they really should have sealed up before that. Perhaps some chances gone begging in this first half as they've enjoyed a lot of field position. Points still might come before we get to half time. This is a good charge by Morton Stewart. And a penalty is going to help their cause. Yeah, I think she stayed on a little too long there, McDonald. She was looking for a one-on-one -on -one strip, but just overstayed her welcome. That'll be a penalty for First Nations Gems. We just have seen no footy, really, this half of New South Wales country. They'll send in Morton Stewart, and she certainly gets the job done with a nice little 10 metre. Here's Ingram. Yet another charge from her. Quick play the ball as well. Has them rolling forward. Streaming through. Good footwork shown from Armat. She's going to take some stopping. Eventually they manage that. Blackwell helping out. Lined out to the right. They choose to go left. Ingram. Ball. They rush the half back. Got space. She'll do it on her own here. The number seven. Can she get it down? Lovely work from Tamika Ball. They have a second try. And New South Wales emerging country pay for some ill-discipline. Well, there you go. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, Adam. And she certainly put four points on these New South Wales country girls. As we watch it in the replay, she's looking left. She's looking. There's no one there. She'll do a show and go and take it herself. And she'll find the try line with four points, putting the First Nations gems in a pretty resounding lead now with only a few minutes in this first half left. Yeah, been super impressive this tournament to make a ball. And this will show it. Lovely show and going straight on the line. Just found the space and went for it. And we'll see Bailey Davies again for the conversion. Well, they rushed, tried to take out her time. Did have support on the outside with Madigan and Keisha Lee Coolwell. Didn't need it. Gems have their second try and Davies a chance to convert it. And we'll see some more changes as well for the First Nations Gems. We'll see Armut come off for a very well-deserved break. I think she was in probably just about everything. So she'll be replaced and we'll get some fresh energy, fresh legs in the Ford pack. So, Breeze has increased a little bit before we started this game. Not too much to contend with. And she's just going to hook this left. So, waved away. Will remain 10 points to nil. First Nations Gems in the lead. 10 points to nil, and particularly in these 40-minute games, is, is a pretty overwhelming lead. Two tries, but, you know, when you've only got 20 minutes in the half, not a lot of time to work with, Adam. I am harping on it, but they just haven't seen the footy, have they, emerging country? No, they certainly haven't. First Nations gems are, are, are pretty much dominant in this first half with possession. So we'll see now if they can sort of force an error, because that seems to be the only way they're getting the ball at the moment. Ball takes it cleanly off the kickoff. About 40 seconds before we get to half time, and it's raced by... Another highly entertaining affair. And don't discount New South Wales emerging country. They came from 12 nil down on the opening day to win after the siren. Yeah, I think they're a great team. They just haven't seen ball. That's just been the main thing. They just haven't seen the possession. So keen to see what they can do when they do get the ball off First Nations Gems. The gems just want to be mistake free as we approach half time. Sure, enjoying it wherever you're, you're tuning in from. 
Ball do the kicking. Test for Blackwell. Now's it to bounce, but almost set up for Coolwell. Huss fluttering for a moment. I think she saved it there, Coolwell. So that will be half time. An impressive 20 minute period where, as we mentioned, New South Wales emerging country just have had to do a lot of defence, and that's a credit to the First Nations Gems. They've turned that field position into points. They lead at half time. The First Nations Gems 10. New South Wales emerging country nil. Yeah, there's really nothing wrong with the, with the play for the New South Wales country. It's just that they haven't seen the ball. So we'll see what happens in this second half. But First Nations gem really overwhelmingly uh, strong in that first half. So you can imagine there's some really positive chat happening now at half time with their coach. No official championship up for grabs. All about development. This one. Players certainly want to get the victory and get the edge over their interstate counterparts, particularly with some under-19 origin berths on the line. Underway in this one, emerging country status and just lost by Bull. I'll say it went backwards. No, knock on. So you mentioned they need some footy. They get a great chance here. This is an exceptional chance, probably the best they've had, Adam. So really keen to see what they can do here. A set of six at the line. Could be dangerous for First Nations Gem. They haven't been on the defensive foot too much, so they're really going to have to turn up here. I mentioned Crystal Blackwell scored two tries yesterday. Jersey number six. She's playing at fullback today. She's lined out to the left. Dimmick takes it to the line. Tooth just overran it. And they've spilt it. Gems have the footy back. So double knock on. This is exactly the opposite, I think, of what New South Wales country probably needed. Another forced error just close to the line. We'll see it here. Just fumbled. I don't know if, Boo, uh, if Tooth was expecting the ball there. Um, she might have just been running a, running a block, but uh, she got it, and unfortunately she's knocked it on, which will mean scrum. Yeah, a bit of urgency to shift it on the first, given they've been starved of the footy, and and they pay a price because the gems are racing away. Cool well it is. A real X factor for the gems this tournament. And just getting a roll on to start this second half. Already almost that halfway. Madigan charges forward. Ball play at the line to Buttigy. Roll into emerging countries half. That's a good one on one tackle by Caitlin Andrews. Casey been damaging with her runs today. Last tackle here. Do they go to the line and test out Blackwell? Ball put it through the hands. Coolwell on the angle. Has support to her outside. She's going to go on her own. She swats them away. She's shown she's a finisher. She just can't get it. Clear for the offload. And they'll turn it over. Really solid set and finish from Coolwell there. She probably made about 80 metres just by herself in the first couple of runs she did. So now we'll see New South Wales country come out and hopefully they don't have a mistake here because it could be dangerous if First Nations gems get the ball back in hand. Well, it's the story of their first half was starting their sets in this position and still you see the defence aiming up for the gems. And the replay there of Coolwell in the bottom right screen just puts it on and goes. Plenty of gas left in the tank clearly for the First Nations gems. Plenty of time to Pull this one back. New South Wales emerging country. Nice work at the line by Dimeck Jukes. Play it 33 out from her own line. Dimeck starting to control things. Good ball and tooth again. Just lack of communication between her and Blackwell. Yeah, I think that might be where the downfall is, is communication, because a couple of these turnovers we've seen, girls coming in, probably not expecting ball and receiving it. See the confidence the Gems are playing with. They're starting to put it through the hands as they have another set close to the country line. Can they go down this short side? Madigan in front of Coolwell and well, it's come unstuck there. So let off the hook. 
And we've just seen a little interchange from Tillett to Weatherall. So we'll see Jamini Weatherall on the right wing now coming on. And maybe some fresh legs on the wing is what they need. As we see this replay. I think they see the impact Coolwell can have, so they're trying to get at the footy. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Just a little bit of a mistake. Probably just over overshared that one a little bit, but that's okay as we see them now on the defensive, which we know they can do. Strong carry by Dimek once more. Was the hero in that win on the opening day. They trailed Western Australia 12-0. Three second-half tries. Conversion after the siren. It was Dimek who tied it up at 12-0. Ebony Oakley converted after the siren. So they have done it before. Got 15 minutes to turn this around. Still plenty of time. Just need to hold the foot in. Tooth's fighting her way. Over the halfway line. Good scoot out of dummy heart. Earn some metres again for Podmore. I think I've called Blackwell's name in this half. Good metres. Here she is, the number six. Real X Factor. Caught with a footy. She tries to find an offload. They wrestle her down. 20 out. Last tackle. They're a little slow in getting off the gems. Kick coming from Massey. Didn't quite get the connection she wanted, and they may race away again. Yeah, first time, Adam, we've seen a little bit of structure from New South Wales country to us. They get the ball back. We might see it again. Yeah, Tuna Cavadro was, had the presence of mind to steal it off Coolwell, and they're going to hit the right-hand side, back where Coolwell is trying to get back in the defensive line. Huge moment here for emerging country, as close as they've seen the try line today. Crane, dummies, pokes her head through the line, needed support off her shoulder. Still looking to offload. Still there for them on the left. Dimek chimes into the line. Short ball finds Tooth. She's centimetres away. Gems just holding on for the moment. Duke's a try scorer yesterday. And managing to halt them here on the last. Great defensive work from the Gems. Crane. Got them stretched. Massey. They'll say knock back. We're playing on here. Kunavadra needs to get it wide. They should score here. McDonald goes to the corner. Croker will finish it off. Execution from emerging country. Results in a try to Lily Croker. They are on the board. And they did that all under pressure as well. As you saw First Nations gem come off the line. But Croker just saw the space on that right wing and went for it. We'll see a replay in just a moment. But that's first points on for New South Wales emerging country. They've certainly emerged stronger in this second half end. Adam. Well, they denied Tooth. Jukes, centimetres from it. Here you see it. The presence of mind from Malika Tanakalvatra. Stole it from Coolwell. And great pressure here from First Nations Gems. It makes them think a little bit quicker, but again, great hands. And they just saw the vision on that right wing. And no one was there. They saw the space and Croker putting first points on for her team. Tuna Kavatra not only stole it in the one-on-one, -on -one, but look at the work she does here. She knew she had to get it wide, the 15. And Annabelle McDonald just drew and passed for Croker. I would say she is instrumental there, number 15, in this game. And I'm not too sure what position she's playing because she's been everywhere and she's been excellent everywhere. So she's a bit of an all-rounder there and definitely one to watch in the New South Wales Emerging Country team. Another try for Lily Croker. The tournament we mentioned her relatives, Millie Boyle, a cousin, father, Jason Croker. Flags raised with the conversion, so lead... Cut to six points, or four points, I should say. Gems, 10. Lead New South Wales Emerging Country, six. And just like that, we've got four minutes left with just over ten minutes in this second half. And four points between. 
Well, both these sides have been involved in some thrillers, some tight affairs. We've got another 11 minutes remaining in this one. They've shown their ability to come from behind so far this tournament. New South Wales emerging country and all drugs. Vevska through the pass, and that is not what they needed. They fought to get back into this game, and a huge moment here for the Gems. Yeah, looking for a big hit, hit up, but I think she's just overextended that pass a little bit to force a knock-on from her teammates. So we'll see a scrum just 10 me metres out, and we've seen what the First Nations Gems can do when they're close to the try line, and we'll see if they can do it again now. Well, you can't invite opportunities like this to this First Nations Gems side. Real X Factors at their disposal. Can they turn it into points here? Put the accelerator down. No surprise. Coolwell has it. Still, she fights towards the line. They don't let, let her reach out and score. They're lined out to the left. Bull has one today. Puts it through the hands to Davies. Can they find a finish? Douglas. Play it three out from the line. Defining moment in this game, you feel this set. Armat. Credit the work of country, though. They're rushing out and cutting off the time. Yeah, great defense. Straight off the line to meet the gems. Casey turns ball player. Once Malata scored a try yesterday. Still, they look to find a third try of the day. Ingram. She'll play it two out. Todd Hunter might have a look at self, throws the dummy, oh. spins away, and they said it was a rolled ball rather than a correct play the ball, so it won't count for the gems, An emerging country are straight on the attack, Lily Croker trying to catch the nothing as they try to find their line, but Todd Hunter tonight. Yeah, certainly tried to capitalise on the First Nations gem getting back on the D-line. I think a few of them were probably a little bit confused with the call. Um, but now we'll go back to play as we see New South Wales country with probably some try-saving play there. We're set up for a grandstand finish. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this one. Here's the replay. Lovely work from Todd Hunter. Now it's the nine doing some good defensive work. Tanoa Kavadra gets a breather for emerging country. Well, mistakes have cost them. They don't want to make another here. It's an offload. Cry of a forward pass from the Gems. Crystal Blackwell ends up with it. Solid tackle from Casey as well. Great defence. She's done all game. They rush the kick of Demek. The emerging country players are all offside and Ingram pounces on it. With scoot out of dummy half here, some precious metres for Davies. Got them short to the left. They choose to go right. Ingram starting to really put some work in. The line they go. Across the face. It's going to work out anyway. Is this a try for the Gems? Good working cover. To deny Weatherall. And pats on the back to emerging country. They keep the lead to four points. And we'll see the replay here. She's missed a player, but it doesn't matter. It's worked out. But I think she's been taken into touch. Weatherall there. Great defense from New South Wales country. And an absolute try saver from them as well. The Tooth and Blackwell combining to deny Weatherall. Now just hanging on. They've shown... That a few times this tournament, they will fight to the end. They won their first game after the siren. And they have been in some tight affairs throughout it. We've got a penalty here to help their cause. Too slow to roll away the gems. They take it quickly through Massey. Sure are enjoying this one. Wherever you're joining us, Adam Santorossa. Alex Durante here in commentary. Strong charge again. Has them just shy of the 40. Cook gets expansive out of dummy half as they put it through the hands with Swan.
Massey. Strong contact, one on one. Ailada on Podmore. Played on the 40 metre line. Dimek has support. Chose to take it herself. Met by three gems tacklers. Last tackle. Need to be clean here. Massey just sends it high. Difficult one to contend with as it swirls around. Is that going to be a knock on to the gems? Six more tackles. For a moment, that ball is going to steal that away from Massey in a one-on-one. Yeah, -on -one. lovely one-on-one -on -one there with both halves. Well, this is setting up nicely for emerging country. They've had some difficult moments, but it's them in the ascendancy here. Yeah, they've got a bit more momentum about them, I think, in the sef second half as well, Adam. They've seemed to have come off, off the bench and just uh, straight into some action. Rolling forward. They've got them stretched to the right. Massey, will she keep it? No, sets it up. Berryman to play it. Yeah, they stay down the short side. Croker was a try scorer last time. They go in that direction. McDonald throws a dummy. It's the last tackle here. Has she got it down? No right to score that one, but she did. Annabelle McDonald ties it up at 10 apiece and a chance for them to take the lead inside the final five minutes. We'll see that replay here again for New South Wales country. Just a lovely pass, and they've, they've targeted that right side again, their fullback, Annabelle McDonald. Just in a bit of a tug of war, but she does a nice little turn to put points on and level for the first time in this game, Adam. Well, the defence has been so good today for the Gems, but it's just all effort for Annabelle McDonald. Had Croker outside of her. It was the last tackle she knew. The desperation that was needed, and it's on show. Yeah, you can see how hungry she was for that. And it was definitely a well-deserved try and an A for effort. As we see if they can convert to take the lead for the first time in this game, or if it'll be level at 10 all. Huge kick for Gemma Crane here. To put them in front. Important kick. Going to be waved away, so... We are set up for another thrilling finish involving New South Wales emerging country. They won it after the siren in previous games. Who knows, we may see it again. Just three minutes left as well. Obviously, it's a very different picture in this second half than what it was from the first half with the First Nations gems just leading the way. But now it's 10, nil, 10 all. So really excited what the women can do in the last three minutes. And we've seen now what New South Wales country can do with possession, which is what they lacked in the first half, Adam. We may see a field goal be an option. We do not have any golden points, so it does end a draw if it stays level for those at home. And no one likes a draw. <laughs> Just under three minutes remaining. Strap yourselves in for this one. Highly entertaining affair. Or oh, they get in each other's road. They'll say that's a knock back. Rightfully so. I think that's miscommunication again is probably what we've been uh, seeing a lot more of in the New South Wales country sort of communication channel. They want to be clean here. New South Wales emerging country. They have paid for some errors in this game. Had to fight back from 10 0 down. You mentioned a field goal. Can they get in range or will they just. Complete the set. Or was that a fumble at dummy half? Seemed to stop the gems. Yeah. It's a broken defensive line as they still look to promote the footy. They're going to hand it over to the gems, though, in a crucial part of the field. Yeah, that was a, a bit messy, I think, from New South Wales country. A little bit rushed. Um, and obviously they've turned the ball over with a forced error. Yeah, a bit hasty trying to promote the football. Set up for the gems. First time we've, since we've seen the First Nations gem with hand and ball as she's trying to snatch it off her. <laughs> a solid effort, but um, Shayla Morton-Stewart will say, no, it's mine. Well, the cue out to the right. West takes the charge. 90 seconds left. Do they think about a field goal here? Just try and set up for that, or do they say, no, we're going to score a try and really put this one to bed as Morton-Stewart goes close? Centimetres away. Game on the line. Close to it, the Gems. Can they win it here? Hinch. Claimed well. 
Shoot out to the left door. Oh, Bull puts it down. Well, the try line was beckoning. There were players outside. She's been brilliant today to make a ball, but she'd want to have that one over. Yeah, a bit of a critical error there at a really important time with only seconds left now in this second half. We might be looking at a tie of 10 all as the clock goes down to 40 seconds. That's really the only thing we haven't seen across the four days. Some amazing games. Haven't had a draw as yet, and who knows? We've had 30 seconds or so remaining. I mentioned Emerging Country won it after the siren with a conversion on day one. The Gems lost it in the final 30 seconds against the country under-19s as they take a quick tap through Blackwell. Real star for them this tournament. They'll have about two tackles to find something to win this game. Closing seconds of this one. Massey will put a kick in behind. Siren will sound. Gems have the footy. They'll have to go all of 60 metres and they're going to die with it here and that will be that. Another fine display here at the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship and it ends all square. Yeah, I think a really great takeaway for all the women. Obviously, I said no one likes a draw, but I think in this case it's deserving for both teams as they both just put everything on the line at the final day, final game of this competition. And I think for a lot of these women, particularly the First Nations, we've got the likes of, of Davies and Bull, I hope to see in the NRLW and beyond in the next couple of years. Well, second in pool A and second in pool B colliding. We can't split them. It finishes 10 apiece and an end to the tournament for both.